How's it going, tricks and mates? This is Mr. Charles, and we're here with the right mix. Okay, so I was doing mini clips games this week. Uh, basically, yesterday, you saw that game where I was the knight going through the tower and crap, which was alright, pretty good. Um, I tried, I really tried looking for another mini clip game. None of them looked good except one, which had the thinnest screen ever. I swear, it had the width of a pipe. Um, then I looked pretty much everywhere else and came to this. It's on Games Games. That's the website name. I've never heard of it. I don't know whether it's called The Right Mix or Bartender, actually. Because it seems like it's called Bartender on the website. I might have got that wrong there, but I, it might actually be The Bartender. So I reset the video. I'll oh, forget. What's done is done. Welcome to the pre-party cocktail mixing. Game for cocktail connoisseurs. Or not, as the case may be. Yeah, sometimes eight-year-olds try and find these games, you know. Poor shake and serve. Our barman Miguel is in your hands. But watch out. He's a bit partial to a cocktail himself. Oh, if you didn't know, I am kind of a uh, bartender myself. So I know what I'm making. Try your hand at mixing your own mouth-watering cosmopolitan. I don't know how to make that. Oh, God. What will you add? Well, surely, surely not all of these can be used for cosmopolitan. Uh... I actually recognize some of the names. So creme de coco, which is cream of chocolate, uh, cream of mint, uh, absinthe. Jody Sani, check your channel in the description below. Uh, sorry, that's just, we have a thing, friend of mine, YouTuber. Uh, Vermouth, Calvaros, gin, what kind of gin? Looks like Bombay Sapphire to me. Tequila, champagne, tonic, passion fruit. Is there vodka anywhere? Maybe I can make a passion fruit martini. Or porn star martini. There's vodka, so passion fruit. Yeah, yeah. Uh, hold. Okay, fine. Passion fruit. Boom. No, no, no. Not the tonic. Pour. P no, pour the goddamn juice. Hold. Pour to add. Oh, okay. Sorry, I'm being an idiot. Pour. About. No, no, no I need two shots. Beautiful. That's way more than two shots. And and vodka. What? Jesus. Are we Mr. Fantastic? Pour. Perfect. Shake it. With your Boston shaker. Look at him dance. The kind of dance I do to literally every cup head. What? How? What? Oh, I'm pretty sure if it's a cocktail, not a milkshake, do a little less heavy handed. What are you talking about? You don't get an explosion if you bloody shake a cocktail. Okay, cool. That made me lose my voice a bit. All right, let's try that again. So passion fruit. Um, uh, You need a lot of passion fruit juice for a porn star martini. So I'll go for about that. Vodka. Uh, let's go about there. Now I think it's mainly just vodka and passion fruit juice. Oh, you also have champagne on the side or like prosecco, but you know, shake. Done. Serve. What have we made? Have we made a porn star? How good is your cocktail? I don't even know what. You don't even- what? What, did we kill him? But I make that drink every day at work! Are you saying I've killed all my customers? Well, actually, no. Policy is we have to call them guests. Lame to the point of being lethal. Triple sec might have just saved my- you don't add triple sec to a porn star martini! Oh my god, this game's inaccurate. Alright, what other drinks do I know? We don't have any cream here, do we? Do we? Whiskey, Cognag, Contro. I actually am desperate to make actual drinks now, but I don't think there's much I can make here. Um, I don't even recognize some of the drinks. I don't know what... Uh, Kahlua? Kah Kah yeah, I don't know what that is. I mean, sometimes we just add gin and lemonade. Do we have any lemonade here? 
No lemonade? Are you serious? What kind of bar are we in? Oh, add a lemon. Would that be... <sighs> Alright. Also, I, did, I do realise I did forget to add ice to my cocktail. I know that is a thing you need to do. Especially at the Miller and Carter Steakhouse. Uh... Uh... I mean, if I had cream and I had something else, which I've forgotten, which is going to bug me now, but if I had something else and cream, I could make an after 8.30. Oh, and I'm not giving away... This isn't like breaking data protection acts, because it does say the recipes on the bloody menu. All right, you know what? I'm going to make an after 8.30 to the best of my ability. So, creme de menthe. About that much. Creme de cocoa. About that much. A bit more. A bit more. Thank you. Let's have the ice now. Completely in the wrong order. Hold to pour. Yep. But oh, okay. You just keep it under there. It, it's policy to show your guests what you're putting in the drink. Damn it! What was that fourth ingredient? Oh, Bailey's. Um, but we don't have that, do we? Sambuca, vodka, contro. I think it'll just be called Irish cream anyway. Gin, tequila. Well, I mean, that's the best I can do at the moment. So, perfect. Serve. Chocolate and mint. Literally, so many stores do chocolate and mint. There are so many. After eights. After eights, that's mint and chocolate. Um, okay. Is it, is it going to kill you? <laughs> My mouth is angry with my head, and that's your fault. A little more ice. That makes literally no sense. There is nothing spicy. There is nothing fucking... That is more cold than... What? I actually even put some ice in there. What? All right. This game doesn't make sense. I'm giving this game genuine cocktails I know off the top of my head. To the best of my ability. And it doesn't... All right. Let's go something bizarre then. Uh... Gin. Pour the gin. Now... Oh, I guess you can have the old gin and tonic. Though this is going to be way too strong. So... No, put the bloody tonic in there. Beautiful. Way too much, but beautiful. Uh, you want me to add ice? I'm going to make sure you get all your ice. Oh, shit, it's overloaded. Okay, time to shake. Yep, shake it. There, okay, cool. Serve. This is a traditional thing to do. Gin and tonic. I mean, yes, you can get the measurements wrong, but it can't kill you a gin and fucking tonic. And I put some ice in there, and I did put a lemon in there. How are you going to react to... You can't die by a gin and tonic, man. Yeah. You literally can't die. Millions, if not billions of people around the world, dead and alive, have had gin and tonic. Very few, unless the drink has been poisoned. Lame to the point of being lethal. So many fucking people. So, triple sec. Okay. You know, I don't know what triple sec goes with, but let's use that. In fact, I should not know. No. First off, I'm going to add the ice. So, okay, there's your ice. I'm going to add triple sec. That's already way too much. And I don't really know what doesn't go with triple sec, to be fair. Uh, Kahlua. Yes. Beautiful. Shake. Serve. Is this going to poison you as well? I've given you triple sec. You've said so many times how you want your triple sec. Yeah, go on. Fucking blow up. Oh. Did I get a better score by any chance? Oh. Alcohol doesn't work like that. A dash of lime next time might help settle my tongue. How did that get a better score? No one has triple sec fucking raw. Well, okay, I guess some people do. But, all right, fine. I'll follow your advice. 
So what? Triple sec and lime and ice. Is it, wait, there's no lime juice. Oh, okay, there is. Okay, so ice. Perfect. Uh, triple sec. Uh, perfect. Lime juice. Perfect. Okay, this is... No one has ever asked for this ever in in the bar area. So, I don't see how this is going to be good. If it's bad, I'm blaming this guy. How good is your cocktail? Drink it, let's find out. See, I'm letting you do this here. No one ever has triple sec with lime. No one has ever asked. Was that good? I'd like to tell you that was good, but it just wasn't. Cranberry juice, oh, for fuck's sake. Fucking, oh, why don't we add, like, fucking Coca-Cola as well while we're at it? <laughs> Jesus, goddamn. This is really frustrating me right now. I know, well, I don't know the recipes, to be fair, in the bar, but I know what goes with what. It's like, you know, you have sausage with mash, you have fish with chips, you don't have ice cream with a curtain. Like, you know, you can't even eat a curtain in the first place, but it was the most random thing that came to my mind. Okay. I, I don't get any of this. This is the most illegit bullshit I've ever seen. I might actually look for proper recipes online after this. Like, one of the game telling me what the fuck to do, and then one of the fucking, you know, an actual a legit recipe. Porn Star Martini is the best. The best. And I fucking rejected it. Okay, that's probably good enough. Shake. Do it. Yes, perfect. Is it not going to blow up? Okay. What have we even made? I suppose this could actually be a legit drink, so... I'm not going to criticize it too much, but... <sighs> Porn Star Martini, man. Are you okay? I would never drink what the fuck you just drank. It's like a very boring party in my mouth. Oh fuck, stop adding random crap. No, you know what? I want to know what fucking recipes this fucking game has in mind. Alright, this guy's a fucking idiot. Um, basically, all you really need to add to make him kind of happy is vodka and cranberry juice. So pour. Uh... Of course, this isn't a legit recipe. I don't. Th well, okay, this might be, but <sighs> the, like, if I poured him a scotch, which is a completely legit drink that I have all the time, he won't like it. He'll f he'll fucking be like, "Oh, I I'm dead now." So, what, is this gonna do good for you, you lousy barman? <sighs> God, I wish I had my own bar right now to get drunk. Yeah? What's up? Hmm. No? Good drink? Oh, you like that? Surprisingly adequate. Oh, thank you. No one ever in the fucking bar has ordered that. Okay, I'm now on the BBC Good Food. Um, this is a legit recipe here. A legit recipe for a cocktail. Margarita recipe. We got a tequila, tequila, triple sec, and lime juice. And there is a salt rim, but we don't have salt. So tequila, triple sec, lime juice. So here we are with the game. This bullshit. Yeah, pour your fucking ice in there. Pour it in. Uh, tequila. They have to have tequila. I, I'm sure I saw tequila. Tequila. I'll do. And then triple sec. Get it in there. This is a legit BBC good food drink, you... I don't even know what I can call you. Uh, grumpy hotel manager from Ghostbusters. Shake. This is legit first class. Serve. I don't even like margaritas, to be fair. But, you know, I haven't really tried them. But, okay, how good is the cocktail? This is BBC Good Food. You can't go wrong with BBC Good Food. Yeah? <laughs> it's 
this guy doesn't have taste. That's a fucking legit drink. It's BBC motherfucking good food. It's very boring. This guy has either really high standards or he just doesn't know how to make a good drink. All right, you know what? I could play this for a really long time. But I'm going to end the episode here. So this was Bartender. It's called Bartender. I know it's called that now. Um, I think it's actually really good. It's a fun mini game. I feel like... Like, it's a good mechanic and stuff. I think it would have been good to have, like, some kind of unlockables thing. Like, I don't know, maybe 20 different cocktails that you have to make and you got to figure it out yourself. I think, really, there's no aim in this game. You're making drinks, sure. But you don't know, like... You're trying to satisfy him, but you don't know what he fucking wants. Even then, when I added all kinds of crap, he, he was just like, yeah, adequate. But yeah, if you want to try the game and make your own cocktails, the link is in the description below. And without further ado, look up my books, subscribe to my YouTube channel. Until next time, see ya.